AI isn't a feature, it's infrastructure, and it's an enabler. You know, I've been thinking about this ever since I had the opportunity to moderate a panel with three founders who are employing AI as part of their solution. And as we talked through this, and I've thought about it a ton, but it didn't really crystallize for me until I was in that conversation. And it's super interesting because now, from my perspective, looking at AI as a component of a product that you're building or a, a infrastructure play for a product that you're building, but also as a founder and enabler that helps you do more, more quickly, it dawned on me that this is exactly the same situation we were in at the, at the beginning and throughout kind of the SaaS bubble. Let me see if I can explain. So what caused the SaaS bubble to occur and, and really helped people realize the potential of technology at that point in time was you had two things that were kind of colliding into a perfect storm. One, you had cloud infrastructure, which was becoming a reality and was enabling people developing products to move away from having a room full of servers and a room full of IT people to support those servers and all of this kind of on-prem activity to moving to servers elsewhere. To, to publishing in the cloud. And so what that did was it enabled people to really reduce the size of their teams. It enabled them to reduce their expenditure on IT resources. And that enabled them to move much more quickly and efficiently with small teams. Then at the same time, you had this world of open source, which was suddenly seen as a means of building proprietary solutions not necessarily proprietary software, but using open source software, open source languages and libraries and APIs and data sets to really enable a whole new generation of software as a service solution. So you had cloud infrastructure coupled with open source, open data, API activity. And that's what really created the boom. Like that enabled people to do a lot more with a lot less. It enabled people to use existing technologies or infrastructure to benefit them and to keep their teams smaller, more efficient, and more nimble. I see the same thing now happening with AI. <laughs> it just happens to all be AI. So AI is both that cloud-like infrastructure that enables you to build on top of something that makes your product do what your product could and should do. So it's that infrastructure play, that, that thing that hosts the application or supports the application. And then at the same time, AI is also that enabler, that kind of open source code libraries, APIs, those kind of things that enable founders to do more with less, to code less, or to get more kind of assistance in building what they wanted to build. That was the beauty of API and open source is that you didn't have to build everything from scratch. There was stuff out there. There was data out there. There were things to help you not have to build everything from the ground up. And I see AI being the same way in terms of enabling people to either code faster or work with data sets more efficiently or create elements that they need more efficiently. So the interesting thing is in the, in the SaaS bubble, it was cloud infrastructure plus open source that caused things to occur. And then, and then further along, you had mobile come up. So you had both cloud open source creating the SaaS environment and then, and then further kind of exacerbating it was mobile. So not only do we have these SaaS things, but now they need to run on a mobile platform, not just a desktop. And in AI, you see those same dynamics starting to play out, which is super interesting to me because you're always looking for those trends, those opportunities, those kind of 
history repeating itself the same way in many ways the SaaS bubble repeated many of the same things that the dot com bubble experienced uh you know the installed software world and and microprocessor world experienced so we when you look for these repeating patterns then you start to realize the dynamics that need to be in play for a for lack of a better term for better or worse a bubble to be to to become and and to grow and now that i'm starting to take this perspective on ai as both infrastructure and enabler the same way that cloud and open source were those were those kind of elements it's really starting to get interesting to think about the potential for artificial intelligence and and how this might be the real next thing.